It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Nacho! Okay, it's the morning mess. It's time for your favorite prank calls. It's time for Nacho's Revenge. Can we say good morning to Ellie? Morning! Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. So we heard that you need our help in getting revenge on your husband this morning. Yeah, I definitely need your help. I mean, <laughs> here's the thing. The way he thinks about Thanksgiving, his routine this year, I need to change it up. Okay. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Well, he's my husband, and I love the guy, right? And he's great. And I met him a few years ago. I have two sons, and he's an amazing stepfather. He's very caring. And then we recently hit this kind of, like, crossroad in our relationship. And I kind of changed up my habits, which I know was shocking to him. And I became a vegan at the start of this year. Nice. Just <laughs> okay. in time for Thanksgiving. I love it. Aww. She said at the start of the year. It was something for myself, and I really needed to commit to it. So I've been eating clean, and my boys, too. They kind of jumped on board, and uh, my husband, for the most part, he's been in it to win it. Okay, so what happened? Well, the whole Thanksgiving. You know, it's coming up, and we've already committed to having dinner at his parents' house, and they are so not vegan, and it's the <laughs> traditional food of, you know, eat too much until you, like, fall over silly. I love that part. Same. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do too, but I said, let's compromise. So I said, well, we could have our own Thanksgiving at our house too. And, you know, one could be vegan and that way we could continue to eat healthy and feel better during this holiday and be really grateful and, you know, make it our own family tradition. I'm assuming he doesn't like that. He just refuses. He's like, I can't Thanksgiving, not without turkey. And I'm like, but right. you, could but you guys are turkey. having a Thanksgiving dinner at his parents' house too, where he's going to have his turkey already, right? Yeah, exactly. So he gets the best of both worlds. I get to be happy. But right. he doesn't want you happy, I guess. That is a lot selfish right there. Yeah. Now, now, let me ask you something, Ellie. A vegan Thanksgiving. How do you envision it? What's the table look like? What are you having? How do you envision it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to steal that. You know, there are other options. You know, I would just do vegetables and beautiful colors and food. You ain't food. got no idea. <laughs> now, I respect everybody that eats that clean. I think it's amazing. I yes. tried it. It's very hard, so I commend you. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that you guys could call him and... And you could have them order with the vegan option. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's sort of ridiculous, but maybe you could be like, hey, we could offer you like a vegan turkey or... Like, oh, I've heard of a uh, tofurkey. Isn't that like tofu? Yes. Tofu mm -hmm. turkey. Yeah. That's I, a thing. <laughs> yes. I have heard about that. Okay. You know what I have? What's your husband's name? Mark. Mark. Okay. I'm going to call Mark. I'm going to mess with him and give him some vegan options for this year's Thanksgiving. Try to convince him to maybe do yeah. tofu and maybe a few other ideas I have in mind. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ruin his morning for you, okay, Ellie? Yes, please. All right, we got your favorite prank calls. Coming up next, Nacho's Revenge with the Morning Mess. Okay, it's your morning mess in the middle of your favorite prank calls. We call it Nacho's Revenge. We spoke to Ellie, who was in a little situation at the beginning of the year. She turned vegan. She woke up like, boom, I'm a vegan. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> is that how it works? Yes, poof, I'm a vegan. So with her <laughs> new husband and his stepkids, her kids, they're all eating pretty clean. Now, Ellie's on the line. There's a situation with Thanksgiving coming up pretty soon here. You guys are going to have a traditional Thanksgiving at his parents' house, the so turkey and everything. But you're trying to compromise with the hubby and saying, hey, we should start our own tradition at our house and maybe do a vegan-style Thanksgiving. And he's not with it. Right. I'm trying to do both. He is not interested. I think you deserve all the payback. I mean, it couldn't be me. I need some meat in my life. But hey, we're here for you. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> now, you had the idea that I'm going to call him up and try to sell him on some vegan options for Thanksgiving that you think it's not going to go well. Yeah, I don't think so. I think he's going to get super mad. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> that sounds like a nervous laugh. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't tell him I'm on the line. Okay, I'm going to ruin his morning for you, okay? Do it. Here we go. <laughs> Hello? Hello, am I speak to Mark? Uh, yes, who is this? This is Nacho with two O's. I'm calling from the V-T-D-E-T-O-T-O-A-O-A-D-E. -E. You're from where? Vegans that don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving or any other day ever. Uh, and why are you calling me? Well, listen, Mark, I spoke with your wife. She's a lovely woman, by the way. She called me to place an order for one of alternative vegan turkeys for Thanksgiving. Are you but kidding? No, she did. She sounded very upset that you didn't want to compromise with her. And I normally don't do this, sir. But I told Wait. her that I would call you and see if we can come maybe to a little agreement on one of our options for your Thanksgiving dinner this year, maybe? Possibly, please, uh, yes? 
I don't want a vegan turkey. I just want a real turkey this year. So what? I, I appreciate she called you. I thought you might say that, Mark, but rest assured, I have many options, and I'm sure one of these would be great for you and your new vegan wife. I doubt it, but um, <laughs> what are the options? She made you call me, so... Yes, tickle my fancy a little bit, Mark. Okay, Lisa. <laughs> If you choose this option, you'll be saving turkeys like Gretchen. She's a very wonderful bird. She has mothered many children and to this what? day thrives in my yard. Her hobbies are gobbling, wobbling, and hobbling. <laughs> she, she has one leg, Mark. She's a rescue bird. I call her my little pink with a leap. I love her so much. My little Gretch Gretch. I don't really care. Um, so what was the first option? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I just love these birds so much. I love you, Gretchen. Yeah, I can tell. So I get caught up in their stories a little bit. So, Lisa, anyways, the first option is the standard tofurkey. It tastes amazing. I know it's tofu and turkey, but it tastes so good. It almost tastes like air. If you chew oh, it really God. well, you could taste that. I'm doing it now. It's really good, Mark. Uh, this is torture. Um, I'm not doing a Tofurkey, okay? That's not gonna happen. Okay, listen, we uh, have more options, okay, Mark? Don't count me out. Uh, all right, fine. Okay. Stephanie, it's you. I'm just not doing a tofu turkey on okay, Thanksgiving. Okay, I get it. Okay, get it's it. just wow. annoying. You're very aggressive. It's all the testosterone from that chicken you're consuming. Listen, uh, I mean, if you choose any of these options, you'll be saving turkeys like Dimitri. Now, Dimitri's actually a kind of mean bird, a very grumpy guy, but we love him anyways. He's kind of like a Simon Cowell of turkeys. <laughs> His hobbies include complaining, abstaining, and entertaining other turkeys like Gretsch Gretsch. She's a little loosey goosey. Oh my god. I don't f care about Dimitri or any of these other turkeys, all right? Stop giving me their wife's story. I don't want to know about them, all right? You're kind of hurting my feelings right now, Mark. I don't care. Okay. Well, you're you waiting to chill time. out. That's why I'm recommending oh you to. God. Maybe a different option here. This one is our ice sculpture turkey. Instead of having a poor bird like Gretchen or Dimitri on your table, you can have an exact replica made of ice. Let me get this straight. You want me to eat water for Thanksgiving? That's your plan. Well, I don't want you to eat Gretchen. Oh, my God. Look, I don't care about your stupid Gretchen. Huh? You're a weirdo. What? You have weird attachment to turkeys, but that's your problem. Okay. That's not my problem. So, f your tofurkey, oh my God. your veggie, oh, Jesus. your ice cold oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not placing a f order with you, and my family's going to have a real Thanksgiving, all right? Okay, so, Lisi, Mark. Stop wasting my time. Okay, I, really quick, though. I had the perfect one for uh, you. I just thought of it, okay? Fine, hurry. Mark, you, your wife, and your kids, why don't you fast on Thanksgiving and not eat at all? Oh. Oh. Sir, you should just told me from the whole beginning how you feel about eating. I have a fasting option where we will provide no food for the low cost of five hundred dollars. What do we think about that? Oh, you should have started with that one. It's so great. So you're gonna charge me five hundred dollars yes. for no food at all. Yes. What kind of business is this? Take your D T M E L M N O P and just shut it on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, we got to let you know you're actually live on the radio. We're the morning uh, mess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I should have known. I should have known. Your wife, Ellie, is actually on the phone. She put us up to this prank call. I'm not surprised. This is payback for you being so stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, my God, I love it. So, Mark, the options are still standing. Do you oh, want the ice sculpture or do you want to fast for...